Want to level up your home cinema audio for a more immersive experience, but don't like the idea of drilling holes in your ceiling, or turning your living room into the speaker version of Stonehenge? With the help of a Dolby Atmos sound bar, you can enjoy truly absorbing sound with your film screenings from the comfort of your home without any of the fuss. Any surround sound speaker can add a new level of detail to your favorite movies, but the best Dolby Atmos sound bars add overhead channels and come in a compact, easy to set up form factor. Here in this video, we've reviewed the best Dolby Atmos sound bars in real world domestic situations just as they would be used at home, and ranked each based on their sound performance with all kinds of movies including Dolby Atmos movies and music, features, and value. To make sure you're choosing the right Dolby Atmos soundbar for your needs, continue watching. Our recommendation number one is Sonos Arc Premium Smart Dolby Atom Soundbar. If you want the best Dolby Atmos sound from a single bar, but balk at paying $1,000 or more, the Sonos Arc is for you. Award-winning Arc is the only soundbar from the brand to deliver Dolby Atmos with vertical speakers. There are touch-sensitive play, pause and volume controls on the bar with LEDs that indicate status and when you're talking to the built-in Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. Connectivity includes AirPlay 2, Ethernet and EARC for Dolby Atmos from compatible TVs. The Sonos Arc uses 11 drivers to create your sound field, a number of which are upward firing and angled into your room to bounce sound off your walls and ceiling, and give you a more realistic Dolby Atmos effect. It all adds up to one of the most convincing Atmos performances you can get from a sound bar. You're transported to the heart of the action. Surround effects are expertly placed and there's great dynamism and good weight to the sound too. Tonally, it's nicely balanced if you just want to listen to music, although it could sound a tiny bit more direct. But, there's no doubt this is a hugely impressive Dolby Atmos sound bar for the money. It really is a stunning performer, delivering one of the most immersive Dolby Atmos experiences we've heard from a soundbar. The Arc is more than a soundbar, too. It's also an app or voice-controlled wireless speaker with access to practically every music streaming service, and it can be combined with other Sonos speakers in order to create a more complete surround sound arrangement or a multi-room system. Rarely does a device arrive that does so much and does it all so well. Even rarer that it remains a class leader over two years after release. Be in no doubt, the Sonos Arc is a superb bit of kit. Our recommendation number two is JBL Bar 9.1 Channel Dolby Atom Soundbar. JBL offers plenty of soundbars and the Bar 9.1 sits at the very top, both in terms of performance and price. It's JBL's first soundbar with Dolby Atmos built in, and in addition to a subwoofer. It comes with two small wireless speakers that charge by attaching to the left and right ends of the bar. When removed, they become the rear left and right speakers, no cables required. It's a clever design, and the audio performance is powerful and exciting. The JBL Bar 9.1 is an impressive 5.1 point for setup. It has two detachable satellite speakers that can play your favorite audio wirelessly from anywhere in your room. Although we don't currently test for it, the satellites are advertised as having up to 10 hours of continuous playback time and charge when reconnected to the bar or by micro USB. There's also a subwoofer, which helps to give this bar a bit more thump and punch. The rest of the sound profile is very balanced, making it a good choice for any kind of content, from audiobooks to action flicks. It even has a full range of physical inputs so it supports Atmos and DTS, and there are several ways to connect to it wirelessly. The JBL Bar 9.1 is great for mixed use. It has a balanced sound profile right out of the box with just a touch of extra bass, thanks to its subwoofer. Its detachable satellites also help to create a more immersive listening experience, whether you're listening to music or movies. While it can get loud enough for a large or crowded room, there's some compression at max volume. Still, it can reproduce dialogue clearly and accurately, and you can stream podcasts or audiobooks directly to the bar via a variety of wireless connections. The JBL Bar 9.1 is a powerhouse. It's a pricey sound bar at $1,000, but you also get an immersive, wireless rear channel experience with Dolby Atmos a powerful sub that can be easily adjusted, and a remote that makes it easy to switch between sources. 
The JBL Bar 9.1 soundbar might be expensive, but it delivers powerful, thunderous audio with detachable rear channels for an immersive listening experience. Our recommendation number 3 is Sony HT-A7000 Dolby Atmos soundbar. Sony has excellent form with soundbars. Award-winning HT-A7000 is no different. A 7.1.2 slab of sound, this Dolby Atmos soundbar packs in two up-firing speakers, two beam tweeters, five front-facing drivers and a built-in dual subwoofer into a single chassis. Using a combination of driver placement and psychoacoustic techniques, the Sony HT-A700 delivers a broad and high soundstage, whether you're watching immersive content or not, while retaining musicality, presence and detail. The A7000 produces powerful, cinematic audio and an immersive, detailed sound field from a single soundbar that impresses more than most multi-box systems. In terms of height and precision, the performance is similar to that of the Sonos Arc, but the width of the soundstage and its forward projection is more convincing. It's not the same as having direct audio from the speaker above or the side, but it's effective and dramatically enticing, enriching the viewing experience. The integrated sub is also particularly impressive with a taut, controlled and powerful performance. The A7000 excels itself with its extensive audio format support, which includes Dolby Atmos in both the Digital Plus and True HD formats, DTS, X, LPCM, High Residential Wireless Audio and Sony 360 Reality Audio. The A7000 is as packed with streaming smarts as it is stuffed with speakers with Spotify Connect, Apple AirPlay 2, Google Chromecast all on board and integration into a multi-room system, with Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit and Google Home all supported. The Sony HT-A7000 is an outstanding, future-proofed, all-in-one performer with excellent integration if you have a newer Sony Bravia TV. If there were no limits to our income or living space we'd happily add the optional surrounds and sub, but the A7000 does not feel wanting of any extra support. It's an incredibly competent, future-proof performer that enhances everything we watch and sets a new benchmark for Dolby Atmos soundbars at its price. Our recommendation number 4 is Visio M Series 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos soundbar. There are a lot of Atmos soundbars on the market now, many of which are quite affordable, but just because they support the standard doesn't mean they can play it to full advantage. Take the Sonos Beam Gen 2 for example while it sounds very good it can only emulate Atmos effects, using digital processing, as it lacks height speakers. If you want true Dolby Atmos sound in a soundbar, you need to look at systems with dedicated height speakers. One of the least expensive is the Visio M512AH6. The M512AH6 fills the big shoes of its predecessor, the SB36512, admirably. It sounds great for music and movies, lets you enjoy Atmos soundtracks the way they're meant to be heard, and doesn't cost a fortune. This Visio is the new, must audition if you're in the market for a capable, affordable Dolby Atmos system. The Visio M512AH6 is a surround system consisting of a main soundbar, a 6-inch subwoofer and two wired rear speakers. Notable additions over the SB36512 include the ability to handle competitive DTS, X format, Atmos chief competitor, as well as the latest HDMI EARC connectivity. The soundbar itself is 40 inches wide and a relatively tall 2.68 inches high while it extends back 4 inches on an avenue stand. The main grille, which hides three sets of mid-drivers and tweeters, is made of fabric, while the one that hides the two upfring drivers is made of perforated plastic. These two drivers are closer to the center than most Atmos speakers, but still work well to beam Atmos effects off your ceiling and down into the room. If you want the most cost-effective way to get true Dolby Atmos playback, nothing beats the Visio M512AH6. Due to microchip shortages it's no longer possible to buy even an entry-level Atmos AV receiver for less than the price of the Visio, and afterward you'd still have to add speakers and a sub. If you already own a streamer, and don't need onboard Chromecast audio, the Visio offers excellent performance in movies and music alike. The M512AH6 earns our hearty recommendation for both home cinema fans and people looking to listen to their favorite album. Once it completes, you're ready to test it out. 
If you're not hearing anything, make sure the multicolored LED on your soundbar is set to whichever connection you chose during setup. Refer to the back of your remote for the input color guide. Once your soundbar is set up, you can easily adjust your soundbar settings on your Vizio TV to set it to your preferences. You can also mount your soundbar by using the included wall mounts. Refer to the user manual for instructions on how to mount your soundbar to your wall. All right, you're now ready to enjoy your new Vizio M-Series Elevate 5.1.2 Immersive Soundbar with Dolby Atmos and DTSX. Our recommendation number five is Poke Audio Senior S4 Ultra Slim Dolby Atmos Soundbar. The Poke Senior S4 is the cheapest soundbar with Dolby Atmos on board yet, but it doesn't sacrifice performance to get that price down. This is a 3.1.2 channel soundbar with a host of useful sound modes and Bluetooth streaming. The wireless soundbar and dedicated heights help it belt out Atmos soundtracks, and it sounds great with music too. The Poke Senior S4 is a Dolby Atmos soundbar, featuring 3.1.2 channels of playback, left, right, center, front overheads and a wireless subwoofer. It offers a number of connection options and an array of useful sound modes. Poke soundbars have consistently been great with music, and the Senior 4 certainly carries the torch for musical replay. And it's just as talented when it comes to films. Whether you're watching action movies in Dolby Atmos or enjoying a low-key drama, the Poke will deliver the goods. If you want true Dolby Atmos that's also affordable, then the Poke Senior S4 is the cheapest I've seen so far. A low price doesn't mean lacking performance, though, because the Poke is as solid as the other speakers in the line, for music and movies alike. The only issues with the Poke come down to how the soundbar fares against its competition. Soundbars with better specs can be had for just a little more. For instance, the Senior S4 lacks the WiFi music capabilities of the Sonos Arc and you can't tailor the levels of each channel, as you can with the Vizio M512A. What if you're trying to keep it in the family? If you're deciding between the Poke React and the Senior S4, for example, be aware that they are quite different. The React trades Atmos for Alexa while also ditching the subwoofer. If you want a ready-to-go system that plugs into a TV and sounds great, the Senior S4 is definitely the one to choose. It doesn't include much in the way of streaming capabilities or expandability, but it'll give you sterling performance as soon as it's out of the box. And that's all you really need.